The government made a request in early June to forbid a series of unlawful acts in relation to the 2019 protest song Glory to Hong Kong. In the High Court today, the Department of Justice said the injunction is necessary to safeguard national security. Mimosa Nai reports. Representatives of the Department of Justice arrived at the High Court this morning for the highly anticipated case. In June, the government applied to the Court of First Instance for an injunction and an interim injunction to restrict acts relating to Glory to Hong Kong, a controversial 2019 protest song, including broadcasting, performing, publishing, printing and selling the song in any way. While the case was initially handled by Judge Wilson Chan, it is now passed on to another judge, Anthony Chan. Senior counsel Benjamin Yu, on behalf of the Department of Justice, argued the injunction is for local residents only. But if people are unaware of the injunction and is involved in one of the restrained acts, they will need to bear legal responsibility. Justice Anthony Chan pointed out that if a newcomer to Hong Kong commits a prohibited act if there's an injunction, the person will breach the national security law and the injunction simultaneously, which may lead to double jeopardy when a person is persecuted for an offence more than once. You said even if such a situation happened, defendants would receive a fair trial. And you admitted that freedom of speech will be affected once the injunction is passed. Nonetheless, he stressed that the injunction is necessary to safeguard national security and public interest. You added the song can arouse people's emotions and it will continue to be circulated without legal prohibition. Moreover, the government's barrister said the injunction is not intended to restrain journalists as long as they conduct lawful journalistic activities. Senior counsel Abraham Chen, speaking on behalf of Friend of the Court, questioned the practical side of the injunction. He said the city's NSL clearly states the crime of secession, making the injunction no different to the law. Rather, Chen believes authorities should put more effort in NSL education to increase public awareness. As the judge needs more time to consider the case, the final ruling will be made at 4pm next Friday. Mimos and I, TVB News.